بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نويت الأربعين نويت الاعتكاف نويت الخلوة نويت العزة نويت الرياضة نويت السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم tonight إن شاء الله we'll continue explaining سورة الكهف سورة 18 verse 66 قال له موسى أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال له موسى هل أتبعك على أن تعلمني مما علمت رشدا قال إنك لن تستطيع معي صبرا وكيف تصبر على ما لم تحط به خبرا صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العظيم وبلغ رسوله الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين الشاكرين بقدر السليم قال له موسى هل أتبعك على أن تعلمني مما علمت رجدا سيدنا موسى عليه أفضل الصلاة والسلام هو إذ أبروفت said to Khadr alayhi salam can I accompany you what's he saying here Moses said to him may I follow thee on the footing that thou teach me something of the higher truth which thou hast been taught Allah Allah Sayyidina Musa is saying to him can I follow you can I accompany you أتبعك. No. Can I? أتبعك means take you as my guide. So it is an indication and it is a hint for everyone to have a guide, to have a teacher. Without a teacher, how you are going to learn, how you are going to study. Without a teacher that he already learned what Allah wanted him to, be lear to learn, that he can guide you. So a prophet, Sayyidina Musa, humbling himself, saying to Khadr alayhi salam, can I follow you? Yeah. Can you say to someone, can I follow you? Yo, it's, our ego is big. We cannot say to someone, to anyone, I want to follow you. Everyone thinks that he knows best. That is a teaching to the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That don't look at yourself, you are high. Whatever you are high, you need someone to teach you. So he said to him, can I follow you? Can I accompany you? To teach me from the higher truth. Oh, is there any other? Is there is there a higher truth and a lower truth? Is there a higher truth and a truth and a lower truth? A truth is a truth. Huh? Is that a truth? Reality is reality. Why he said higher truth? I didn't say it. They said it in, in this translation. And we know from where this translation coming. They said higher truth. Those people who deny realities, they accepting it by force. Rahman. <laughs> <laughs> على أنوفهم عن أنوفهم جميعا they deny realities حقائق and they still they cannot run away from the from to, to, to make the tafsir in English they, they have to say it and they said higher truth oh is there higher truth and lower truth or truth is truth. They didn't want to say higher knowledge. 
they didn't want to say علم الحقائق, the knowledge of realities, or علم الباطن, as some other people call it, or علم التصوف, they cannot, they, their, their tongue are frozen at that word. So they find a way behind it, how it, they change it, and they say higher Hi. truths. We go with them, higher truths, means there is some truth which is higher than the others. So why, why they are hiding it from us? If there is higher truth, why these big scholars who are pretending to be the scholars of Muslims not teaching us this higher truth? Where is that higher truth? From where we can get it? Is not? No. Yeah? <coughs> Correct? No. Yeah, say yes. Why? Yes, 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 sir. Sir. Yeah. Why they are hiding? They know there is higher truth. Might be they like it to themselves alone. Allah, Allah knows, we don't know. But they have to share, Islam is sharing. Conditions of Islam is to share the knowledge. You cannot hide a knowledge in Islam, it's haram. So why are they are hiding? There is higher truth, I want the higher truth. Ah. Means, Allah is telling us through Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam by revealing his story to Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam that Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi afdal salatu was salam is the perfect prophet, is the perfect human being, is the human being that Allah has chosen and raised his name with his name, gave him the higher truth and the truth itself. So Telling us in an indirect way, Sayyidina Musa with Khadr alayhi salam, let me follow you. I want that higher truth that Allah specify, specify, you see, spe uh, gave it to you specially, privately. And what he said to him, Hal attabi'uka, it's a condition. If I will follow you, but teach me. What's that mean? Means you are my teacher. That Prophet Sayyidina Musa, big Prophet, <laughs> is humbling himself, saying to Khadr alayhi salam, you are my teacher. Can these scholars nowadays come to a regular person and say you are my teacher? Can? No. You can see that? No, it's impossible. What is the difference between Sayyidina Musa and Sayyidina Al-Khadr? Huge difference in rank. With all that, what he did? He said, you are my teacher. I will follow you. These scholars of today, that they call themselves modernist, Islamist, activist, ist, 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 ist. Ism, 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 like... Communism, <laughs> communist, ist, 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 activist, Islamist, what's that, modernist, any word, I don't know, atheist, atheist, all that, engineerist, all ist, we want to know what's the meaning of ist, <laughs> huh. they, they will accept a teacher, a'uzu <laughs> billah, they say you are teacher of yourself, independent. They tell to people, go, read by yourself Quran and Hadith you learn. Allah. Why then Sayyidina Musa did not read Hadith and Quran and learn? <laughs> Why he asked Khidr alayhi salam? Huh? Is not? No. Why? He would have gone and say, I want to read and learn by myself. Uh, he will read Tawrat. Allah revealed to him Torah. So why do you have to go and learn? From a man. Look, subhanAllah. From who? Not directly, from a man. Means he needs a teacher. How they say today, and this is where it goes around in mosques and everywhere. Go and learn by yourself. Don't, you don't need a teacher. You don't need anyone. Sheikh? No sheikh, kufr, shirk, 
Ya Allah, Sayyidina Musa making shirk. <laughs> Impossible. Sayyidina Musa is making the real Tawheed. He wants to reach the, to, re, to the real oneness by the higher truths that they translated by themselves in that Quran that they print in their own places and distribute. Correct? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. So, how you go and learn by yourself Quran and Hadith and you become a mufti? And you become issue fatwa. 18 years of age, you became issue fatwa. <laughs> So he said to him, Oh, I want to follow you. Means I want you to teach me from the knowledge and to guide me in my religion to reach Isabatul Khair, to reach the goodness. Means I want to reach the good ending. The best way. What you have been taught from good. I want you to teach me. And it says that على أن موسى عليه السلام راعى أنواع الأدب جعل نفسه تبعا له. He said that موسى he was very well following the right way of adab respect discipline with al khadr alayhi salam by making himself a follower to a teacher although he is higher he lower himself to follow a teacher like sayyidna muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is higher than Jibreel alayhi salam. He completely went into adab discipline and was taking Jibreel every time as a guide for him. Although Prophet qaba kawsayni aw adna without Jibreel alayhi salam. He reached two bows of length or less. less. Uh, don't forget that or less. What's that less? Sheikh Marwan. What's Adna? Less. Less of what? Might be one millimeter less. Any limitation on less? No. He said, Kaba It's okay, or less. Two bows of length or less. Less is any less. Means any <coughs> distance, huh? Might be one millimeter. So if it is one millimeter, where he was then? He didn't say 10 yards, 10, 2 yards, 1 yard, 30 inches, 20 inches. He said less. Means atom even. It's still less. What? Is that? No. <coughs> Allah. Huh. What he said? Hal attabi'uka. Can I follow you? He's waiting for a permission. He didn't say to him, you are my teacher. But he said, can I be your student? It's a big difference. Can I follow you? Means if he told him, no, you cannot follow me. Means he rejected him. He said, can I follow you? He, he put himself in a situation that he is ignorant of everything. وَأَقَرَّ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ بِالْجَهْلِ وَعَلَى أُسْتَاذِهِ بِالْعِلْمِ When he said, can I follow you? What akarra in English? He affirmed. confirmed, affirmed on himself of ignorance. And he affirmed on his teacher on knowledge. Because he said, can I follow you to teach me? From what had been taught. Means he confirmed and affirmed that his teacher knows something he doesn't know. So he is ignorant of what his teacher knows. So he affirmed that he 
is ignorant and his teacher is knowledgeable. Means, oh believer, mu'min, Muslim, when you come to the door of a pious person, throw your knowledge out and come empty container because he has to fill you. Like this cup, if you fill it with water and it is here full and you say to someone, fill it more, it doesn't fill. It's going, what happened? Spill, spill, spill out. So when you have to come to a teacher, you have to come empty. So teacher can find a place to fill you. So he said, can you fill me up? <coughs> my teacher. هَلْ أَتَّبِعُكَ عَلَىٰ أَن تُعَلِّمَنِي To teach me. So I am ignorant, you are teacher. I don't know nothing, you know everything. Musa alayhi salam. What about us? Huh? So how much our ego is high? Think about it. Meditate on this verse. And think how Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam said, can I follow you and teach me from the higher truth? How, how? And look at yourself, at your knowledge, which you know nothing, you are nothing, we are nothing, and still we are arrogant, pr proud of ourselves, as if we know everything. Subhanallah. Ala an tuallimani mimma ullim tarujda. To teach me from mimma ullim ta from what you have learned. Some of what you have learned. Not everything. I know you have been taught something. Allah has given you something. Teach me part of it. I'm not asking all of it. When you come to a teacher, you cannot become a teacher. You are still a student. Whatever he teach you, he knows more. Means don't always, don't put, uh, make your eyes over your, <coughs> what's that? Eyebrow. Eyebrow. <laughs> uh, now scholars of today they have their eyes over their eyebrows they say look <laughs> look here he said no I know my limit you are my teacher I am your follower teach me of what you have been taught I am not asking to be equal in your knowledge only I need something of what Allah gave you. Like a poor asking a rich. Give me something of what Allah gave you. The rich is not going to give anything, everything. What he will give? Ah, who gave everything? Sayyidina Abu Bakr. Ah, that is fana'un fil rasul. That is annihilation in Prophet That is muhabbatul rasul. Mahabbatullah, Mahabbatul Rasul. Hudurullah, Hudurul Rasul. Fana unfillah, Fana unfil Rasul. He gave up everything. Take it, Ya Rasulullah. It's for you. Ah, can you do that? It's impossible. So, compare your ego now. Say, check your ego. Where it stands now? How much it's, it's, it, it, it is there? Uh, lower, higher. You can find where you are. <coughs> Give me something of what you have learned. And he said that what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored you and favored you with that knowledge, give me part of it. Qala Qutada. He is from Ashab al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. لو كان أحد مكتفيا من العلم لكتفى نجي الله موسى ولكنه قال هل أتبعك If anyone If anyone Think that 
He doesn't need to learn and keep learning and keep learning and keep learning until his death, until judgment day. He has to do that. If someone uh, look at Sayyidina Musa, if, if that ayah did not show that le learning is a, a must, Sayyidina Musa will never ask Khadr to teach him from what Allah taught him. Because Sayyidina, Khadr, Sayyidina Musa doesn't need, he's a prophet. He's a prophet from Uli Al-Azim, from the five big prophets. Well, that he doesn't need. He has the whole message. Allah gave him whole message. But he said, no, I need more. That's teaching us that whatever you study in your life, continue, find way to study more. And that's why it is said, أُطْلُبُ الْعِلْمَ مِنَ الْمَهْدِي إِلَى اللَّحْدِي Always ask for knowledge from Mahd, means from birth to Lahd to grave. Means from the crib to the grave. From the day you are in the crib to the day you are in the grave, ask for Alim knowledge. Allah Allah yeah. It is said that when Musa alayhi salam and Khidr alayhi salam they were by the Maraj al Bahrain, the merging of the two oceans, Majma al Bahrain, when they were there, suddenly a huge Bird came and put his, what you said, that's beak. beak into the water and then took in the beak water and then he wiped it with his wing and then went to the east, then or fly to the east and then fly to the west. Go to the east and then they didn't see him and then go back to the west until they didn't see him. And then came back to the same place. And wasaha. And he began to give sound. فَقَالَ الْخَدْرِ يَا مُوسَى Khadr said to Musa, Can you say, tell me what he is saying? And مَا قَالَ هَذَا الطَّائِرِ قَالَ لَا I cannot. Then he said, then you say what he said. He said, يَقُولُوا ما أُتي بنو آدم من العلم إلا بمقدار ما أخذت من هذا البحر. He said that Bani Adam, the children of Adam, all what they have got from knowledge, from beginning of creation to the end, all that knowledge, if it is added up, it's like that drop of water that I took in my beak. And the rest <coughs> is hidden. Huh? Then there is a hidden knowledge. al murhaqaik That Allah gave to Prophet. Because Prophet وسلم, said, I have been given ulum al-awwaleen wal akhirin I have been given the knowledge of before and after. So he got that. The only one that got that. Allah Allah now the description between Musa and Khadr how they are relating to each other as it is described in uh, Tafsir Ruhul Bayan that there is two different type of people there is Al-Akmal and Al-Kamil Al-Akmal and Al-Kamil uh, Al-Kamil is the perfect Al-Akma, more perfect. 
both of them perfect but one is more perfect one is perfect khadr alayhi salam was perfect musa alayhi salam was more perfect because he is nabi ulu azm he is from the five big prophets and it is accepted that al akmal the more perfect might need some knowledge that has with a perfect because not everyone knows everything because allah said in holy quran wa fawqa kulli dhi ilmin alim above a knower there is a knower every knower there is a knower above every knower there is a knower means it's never ending that level is continuous so even if an akmal more perfect there is another more more perfect and there is another more 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 perfect and there is another more 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 perfect and then put it in the computer it goes to the end of the day saying more 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 until it's never end of perfection maqam uh, al is infinite levels of perfection in every level in every level it's a perfection that in that level now in that level which we are sitting in that sitting sitting around tafsir al quran is a perfect situation we go to another group might be they are more perfect might be they are more knowledgeable sitting together and explaining they might give more explanation on the tafsir of that verse you can go to pious people sincere people which are awliyaullah they are more 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 perfect so in every level it has its own perfection in that level but from one level to another the perfection of knowledge is increasing so as it increase it become higher in that level the the tajalli that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that anwar that allah is sending on that level on that st- st- stage so sayyidna musa alayhi salam was more perfect and sayyidna al khadr was perfect because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might show a perfect servant hidden knowledge that might not show to a more perfect person and a perfect might need the knowledge and teach it to a more perfect person and more perfect person might have a knowledge that a perfect person must can learn it from him so it is a vice versa and that's why human being are in need to each other to relate you cannot hide something you have to give it and that's why sayyidna musa ask sayyidna al khadr teach me from the higher truth sayyidna khadr cannot hide it if he hide it then he is responsible in the judgment day islam prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you have to what you know you have to relate to people you cannot hide it now to relate it you need people that can take it if you don't find such people you cannot give it <coughs> you cannot throw jewels between hands of children they don't know its value so that's why sayyidna musa knew the value of the knowledge that was khadr so he's asking give me that knowledge look sayyidna abu bakr as-siddiq how many hadith he he said he narrated few hadith doesn't go to 20 and he was the companion of prophet the 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 very close companion the friend of prophet is yaqulu li sahibihi la tahzan his friend in the in in everywhere he said how many hadith 20 why he doesn't know he knows why, why he hid it he didn't hide it he was what prophet gave sayyidna abu bakr as-siddiq specify him with different with kind of of a uh, secret of valuable realities like khidr and musa and that's why sayyidna abu bakr between the sahaba was like the khidr between the anbiya 
that he has some kind of knowledge that Prophet ﷺ only gave to Sayyidina Abu Bakr and the Sadiq. And Khadr, to show that, no, Ya Musa, you are better than me. So now do look the relationship. Ambiya, they know what they are speaking about. He said, Ya Musa, Anta ala ilmin allamaka Allah, wa ana ala ilmin allamani Allah. You are on a knowledge that Allah has given to you, specify you with it. Didn't give to me. And Allah gave me something he didn't give to you. So it means I'm not better than you. Allah gave me. And you are not better than me. Allah gave you. To show to Sayyidina Musa that don't expect that I am higher than you. No, you are higher than me. Uh. So, in Wafi Akwal. المشايخ والعلماء من آداب المريد الصادق بعد طلب الشيخ ووجدانه أن يستجيز منه في اتباعه. It is said that after you find your teacher and your heart liked him, you will ask him if he gives you permission to follow him. وَمُلَازَمَةِ صُحْبَتِهِ and, and to be with his associations and circles. وَتَعْظِيمًا لِشَيْخِ بَعْدَ مُفَارَقَةِ أَهَلِيهِ وَأَوْطَانِهِ And you have to respect your sheikh after you have left your families, your countries, you left what you, Allah gave, what you have of positions and fame in order to you uh, humble yourself and to follow a sheikh to teach you. Like Sayyidina Musa left everything. And he said, I'm not returning back until I reach Majma' al-Bahrain. Until I will find that abd that Allah mentioned to me. I'm leaving everything behind. He left everything and he directed himself. الله الله هل أتبعك على أن تعلمني مما علمت رجدا That's how you have to follow the sheikh to seek his permission to give you إجازة to follow him as سيدنا الخضر uh, the story of سيدنا الخضر and سيدنا موسى and inshallah we will continue next time uh, that uh, where we arrived will explain a little bit on هل تعلمني هل أتبعك على أن تعلمني تعلمني مما علمت رجدا and then we continue to قال إنك لن تستطيع معي صبرا you cannot be patient on what you are going to see subhanallah Allah Allah He said that, we'll say something here, to follow you, to teach me from all, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught you directly. Without an intermediary, Allah directly has poured into your heart from these realities. Bila wasitatil jibril wal kitabil munzal. Directly, without an intermediary, Without reading any book, because Sayyidina Al-Khidr did not read the book of Say Sayyidina Musa, but what Allah has given to his heart directly, give me from that knowledge. Uh, look what he says here, it's very important. And these, these are different levels. The intermediary of Jibril, of reading the book, Al-Kitab, or Mukalamatul Haq Ta'ala, to speak, to have this dialogue, are three different levels. First level, Maji'u Jibril Yaqtadil Wasita. 
the descent of Jibril alayhi salam, it, 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 it indicates on intermediary. You have to have an intermediary. وَإِنزَالُ الْكِتَابِ يَدُلْ عَلَى الْبُعْدِ And to get the message through a book means there is a distance between the coming of Jibreel and the reaching of the book means there is a big distance between you and your creator. Is that? <coughs> when you have, you, are, you need a book means there is a big distance, there is a gap there. So Prophet Sallallahu Jibreel at the beginning revealed the Quran. And then Allah called him to Isra and Mi'raj. So there, there was no board. There was no intermediary. There was no, fa what you say, board, distance. He brought him. Why he brought him? We, we, we see a secret here. وَالْمُكَالَمَ تُرَبِّ عَنِ الْإِثْنَيْنِيَ المكالمة to, to speak, يعني the third level, when uh, to, to speak with dialogue, to have a dialogue like Sayyidina Musa and Allah, Sayyidina Musa used to speak directly, that shows two parties. One is speaking and the other listening. Or this is speaking and the other listening, is not? To show two, is not oneness, yes. Means you did not reach yet the state of oneness. يعني مقام التوحيد لم نصل بعد. We are still, we are still in struggling of seeing two separate entities. That's why we say Afdal al-Zikr is said La ilaha illallah. To tell your ego La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. There is no God except God. Means there is no existence for yourself. Telling the ego there is no existence. When you reach that maqam, you free yourself from the slavery of the ego. When you reach the maqam al where the slavery of the ego doesn't have control on you, that's where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa reached that level, Allah brought him to his nearness. There was nothing there. And there, he blessed him. Bil anwar li fayd nuri Allah bila wasita. He was revealing, getting the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attribute without an intermediary. There is the uh, uh, state of the real oneness. There is al-ikrar bi maqam tawheed Affirming the reality of the level of oneness. Before that, it's still in the different levels that you are struggling with, with yourself. And here, when he become strong on that level, he will be able, Id'uni astajib lakum. There, if you make a dua, it's accepted. There, inni qaribun ujibu da'wat al-da'i idha da'a. There is no distance anymore. Inni qarib. Ujibu da'wat al-da'i. Not like they say today. Call Allah directly. He said, Id'uni uh, astajib lakum. You did not reach yet that, that, that level yet. That Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has reached. You did not reach the nearness that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has reached. You did not reach the nearness that awliya reach by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sending to their hearts this fiyudat al-ilahiyya from him, this tajalli that they begin to get that light into their heart directly and their heart becomes like fountains of inspiration and this knowledge. You did not reach. That's why you are still far in the distance of Bu'diyya. You are in the f f farthest end. And there is a big distance between you and your and the divine presence. So wherever you are going to make dua, it's not going to reach. When you reach that level of Qurbiya, nearness, and there is no more distance, then if you say, Id'uni astajib lakum, it is there. And that's why you need, and that's why ulama said, all ulama, hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that if you don't end up your prayer, your dua with Salah ala nabi your dua will not reach. Because it needs the wrapping of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
because he is the one the intercessor that can make your dua to reach because he already in that level in that maqam may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and raise us to be to free us from the slavery of the ego and inshallah we continue next time bi hurmat al habib bi hurmat al fatih You see, they brought the tea today.